Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. This is Paula Young. It's called Comfort by Heart of Gold. This is in the color 38, which is also called Cool Ash. And it's a medium, kind of a light medium brown with about 25% gray. It's a very cute color a very cute style with some interesting cap features. If you want to know more about this one, then stick around. This wig was donated to me by a wig sister. She really wanted uh, more people to know about this great style. She is in love with it and thought what a better opportunity to try to help other people find a wig that they might love. So I'd like to thank our wig sister for providing this opportunity for me to review this for everybody. Let's take a look at this from all sides. Such a cute bob with bangs. Now, the bangs on this one are a little bit too long for me, which is why that you see that I have them swept over to the side. You can absolutely wear this with a full bang. It just would might need a little trimming. Now, everybody's head measurement from or their forehead measurement from the top of their eyebrows or the middle of their eyebrows to the hairline are different. So I do find that a lot of wigs come that come with bangs come with bangs that are too long for me and my measurements. I think I'm three inches from here to here. So if you find that challenge as well, I want to encourage you to learn how to trim up your own bangs. I have a couple of videos out on YouTube that talk about this and I'll make sure to link at least one of them in the description below so that you can watch me and see a technique that might help you from one wig sister with no hair cutting skills to another. If I can figure it out, I know that you can as well. Now this is a kind of a classic bob that has some very slight layering that gives it this rounded and a slightly A-line appearance. It is not, I would not call this an A-line. It's more of the shape and the cut because it's got just a little bit, see how it kind of hugs under the chin just a little bit right there? I wouldn't call this an extreme A-line. I think this is a very classic, classy cut and is one that would be flattering on a lot of people. Now this wig has about a moderate density. I'd say it's light to moderate. I have had bobs that were similar to this in the past that had a lot lighter density than this one. So this one has a, mo I would say light to moderate. It isn't moderate, it isn't heavy density, but it isn't super, super light density, which I appreciate because when you get wigs with super light density, a lot of times they lay really flat and kind of lackluster with not much style to them and you run the risk of being able to see the wefting on a windy day, which I don't think would be a problem with this one. So you can see how it's got that rounded look. Now there is some permatease in this one, which also contributes to the rounded look. I would say the permatease is all on the sides here. Actually, up here is the monofilament, and I'll be darned. There might be permatease up here. I'll take this cap off and study it a little bit more. But there's a light coating of permatease sort of all around this cap. So it is not heavy, poofy, pillowy permatease. It's not super nesty. I think it really contributes to this style a lot. But if you're looking for a wig with the lowest density and no permatease, I wouldn't recommend this one because it does have moderate, more moderate density and some permatease. Let's talk about this cap so that I can study that permatease. You'll notice I have a wig grip cap on because my hair is getting long enough that it's becoming a little bit annoying when I do reviews. It kind of gets in the way. I don't typically wear wig grips or wig caps, but if you're curious about this one, I will put a link in the description to my review of this. This is the Bell, Te Bell Tress um, grip cap, so I'll, I'll put a little link in there. So let's talk about this cap. So we have got this beautiful double monofilament. There is silicone here. There's silicone here. There's also silicone here 
and their silicone on the nape. That would be so fantastic if you have no hair at all. The silicone on here is going to help it grip to your scalp and keep the cap from moving around. If you don't have any hair at all, you might not even need to wear any type of a wig grip with the silicone on here. It doesn't impact me though with hair. It's not pulling on my hair. I just don't think it really helps a whole lot with hair. So there's that beautiful double monofilament. There is no lace front, so you will either need to cut full bangs into this one or keep the bangs down and swept to the side. You've got ear tabs with silicone with a bendable stay. This is not an extended nape, and you've got bra strap adjusters. Now, let me take a look at this cap because I was, you know, there isn't any there isn't any permatease where that double monofilament is. It looks like it's a little bit cluster knotted and that may have been what I was feeling. But there is permatease sort of all throughout. When I part the hair, you can see just a little bit of crimpy fibers here. Nothing super heavy or pillowy. So definitely not a high permatease wig little bit more effort to put a wig on when I've got this grip cap on because the whole point of the cap is to keep your wig from sliding around <laughs> so it also can make it a little bit challenging to put back on one thing I am noticing about this piece is it does tangle which is a little bit surprising to me given the length so I definitely recommend that if you are going to get this one that you'll have a wide tooth comb with you the tangling is not excessive at all if it were longer, that could be an issue, but it's really easy to just run a comb through it and get those tangles sorted. The fibers are a mix of sort of silky and dry, so they're very, very realistic. And these are a little bit of a thicker denier fiber. So let's see how to explain that. Wigs come with a variety of different um, densities of fiber, thicknesses of fiber, that's sort of what denier is. So picture someone who has baby fine hair, super fine hair, not very thick, and then picture someone with really thick, healthy hair, thick strands that are a little bit coarse, maybe super straight. That's kind of this denier, is a bit of a heavier denier. Ellen Villa is a good example of a brand that makes wigs that have a very, very light denier. And Noriko is an example of a brand that typically their hair fibers are nice and hardy. This reminds me of Noriko fibers. So I don't know if that helps someone as you're trying to make your decision, but there you go. Let's talk about fit. This cap is running, I think, true to average. Sometimes when I put a wig grip on with a wig, I can feel that the wig is a little bit tighter. It gives a little bit of cushion or extra bulk in there, which could be a good solution if you find wigs to be too big for you sometimes. Getting a cap like this could help. I'm not feeling like this is making this wig too tight. There is a lot of stretch here. And so I definitely would consider this true to average. I get a little bit of extra cap up here. So I would say you're going, I have a 22 inch circumference and it fits me perfectly with a little bit of room. So I think if you're a little bit bigger than 22 inches in your circumference, you're going to be okay. And then I think over the top of your head, if your measurements are pretty average, I think you're going to be okay with this one. Yeah, it's really comfortable super comfortable and it feels very lightweight on my head so I'm really really liking this one all right let's talk oh you know what I didn't cover is coverage so because I said it fits me to really true to average these ear tabs come down in front of and below my ear which is where I like my ear tabs because it gives me it's really comfortable there and it gives me really good coverage you can see a little bit of my bio hair but not very much of it so this is one that would give me great coverage so obviously I don't know about you compare your measurements to mine but it's a great one for tucking if anything the grip cap is giving me a little trouble with tucking but this is a great one for tucking you can definitely make it less of a kind of a rounded bob by just kind of tucking and smoothing it down because it does have a little bit of permatease 
I think you can get a little bit of volume if you play with it, but I'm really not sure if it will hold that volume all day because it's not super heavy permatease. So if you like a lot more volume and roundness in your wigs, I would just take a little bit of Tressalure wig wax spray. I love that stuff. Just lift up the cap, spray a little bit in there, and then you know, kind of play with it, and I think you'll be able to get some good lift. Another option would be dry shampoo. All right, let's talk about this color, 38. So 38 is also called Cool Ash, and it's a light ash brown with 25% gray. No rooting, so it's the same color all throughout. It is a beautiful color. It's very ashy, but I love the blend of that sort of light brown in there. And it's very well blended. I mean, it's very dynamic. The two colors are quite contrasting, but it's not like stripey or highlighted. So they really did a good job of blending in that 25% of gray with that light brown. Really good job. I would say if you are going gray and your hair was more of a lighter brunette, light brown, I think this could be a great color for you. I think you'll feel very comfortable in that color. And if you do need to blend your bio hair kind of at the temples, if that's kind of your natural color or even if it's a little bit more gray, I think that will work very well because my gray, you can see it's darker. I'm more of a pepper <laughs> with my salt. And I do think that if I tucked it and then just tried to do this a little bit, I really think I could pull it off because the gray will play off on the gray in here. Really pretty color. All right, everybody, let's get outside so that you can see this outside. Let me know if you have any questions about this piece. Once again, thank you to the Wig Sister who sent her to me so that I would have an opportunity to show this really, really cute style to all of you. So this one is more budget friendly. It runs, right now it's running $119.99. So it does say sale, so I'm not sure if that's their typical price or what, but it's definitely for a really nicely constructed cap and really nice style. I think it's a great price. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let's get outside. All right, everyone, we are outside. It's very overcast out here. You can see a little, every now and then you get a heavier piece of the white or the gray, I should say. But overall, it's very well blended. guys look at oh my golden retriever is got the zoomies <laughs> <laughs> his brother's just looking at him like what is wrong with you some of you guys always comment on my dog so i thought i'd show that this is a really really pretty color you know i'm not super comfortable in the grays right now but this is a color i really want to love it's just really pretty and another reason I wore bright lipstick with it because I thought that it would just really help to make it pop. Okay, one more close up. Okay, I hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we are with the out of the box that I put on Instagram. I speed them up just a little bit because I try to get them in under a minute. It's really not meant to be a review. It's really just meant to show people a quick look at the wig out of the box so that they can be watching for the review if they're interested in a style like that. So you can see wow. it didn't take much to get it looking pretty much like you saw in this review. I didn't do anything to it took a wide tooth comb to it but just with my fingers I was really able to see what this style was going to look like so pretty. what a great gray color good transition color for someone maybe transitioning to gray just working on how to part it I always have fun playing with them in these thanks for watching you guys
Thank mm-hmm. you.